so many things are possible as long as you do not know they are impossible by Midred Taylor. Welcome to Straight Talk with Bennett. Joining me on today's episode of Straight Talk with Bennett is award-winning Nollywood actor Obi DK. He's best known for his role in Living in Death and A Cry for Justice. Join us again when we come back from this short break. My name is Bennett Wanko. Thank you for joining me, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, you've been acting for over a decade now, or more than two decades now. Mm -hmm. So, looking back on when you started, how would you evaluate your um, career in terms of achievements, in terms of, or how, and basically acting, how did you start? How did you start? Do you think you've gone um, to a point where you say yes, I'm fulfilled with what I've achieved so far? Well, the starting was, um, well, I say it was phenomenal in the sense that um, I'd always loved acting. I had a passion for acting. I wanted to study theatre arts, but uh, my father was, I should go for something, according to him, that is more professional. <clears throat> but after my service, I found myself back into the industry. And um, it's been challenges, been challenging too. But uh, I'll, I'll tell you that then there was a passion, there was sacrifice, and then um, people were willing to achieve their goals. They had aims because of that passion. It was like a burden. You want to do something. Yeah. Uh, right now, I say the industry, uh, technology, technologically, we've come, up, we've advanced. Okay. Though we still have hindrances based on. Um, financial issues okay. and again the mode of castings these days I, I wonder whether we're casting looking out for the best act the best person that suits the particular role but I think we're still having problems with that and then having people jumping in into the industry from everywhere Every, everybody wants to be a star and then in the course of it you, you produce half baked products so I think we still have a lot to do. We're doing very well, but we can still do more. Okay. If I get it correctly, um, in your opinion, mm -hmm. you said uh, comparing when you started and what you have now that we seem to be producing half baked movies. Yeah. Like the qualities of movies we produce right now has really dropped. Yeah, because if you look at some jobs, the content, the content. Then before we enter into production. We have what is called the script conference. Everybody is involved from all sectors, the actors, the crew, the post-production, we all sit down to analyze the script. Yeah. And if the script is not good enough, yeah. you get back to work on it. Okay. But right now, we're so much in a hurry to produce. Okay. But you still have producers who are quite good. Okay. You have some productions that are quite good. Okay. But, they, but the rate of rolling out these things these days, okay. uh, I don't know if you see a lot of half baked things coming up. Okay. And I'm really curious. For some people you know, who haven't really heard about you, I know it's it's not really possible. Especially I've been a fan of yours from my childhood mm -hmm. when I was very little, quite little. I've been watching your films and all I think one of the one of for me one of your best films should be the um, Cry for Justice. Well, I think that should be one of my best one of your best films I've watched. Okay. So, um, who is Obi Dike? 
Wow. Who made the case of the you see From my home state here. Okay. Studied at the um, university, in Agassiz University. Okay. Here. And uh, people don't know I'm equally a civil servant. Wow. I work. <laughs> Uh, I'm a senior civil servant right now, I'm grade level 14. Oh, wow. And always a simple, a simple being. I'm, uh, I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm an uncle. <laughs> I'm so many things to many people, depending on the one. Okay. I'm a colleague to people. So okay. Obi is just me. I like being me. Okay. And at this state, I'm equally an ambassador of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. Oh, wow. Now, I have so many other awards, but I prefer being me. Obi is Obi. So Obi is just Obi the King. Okay. So we'll go for a quick break now and we'll come back. We we'll continue. Okay. Okay. Next to you, hop on the plane just to find you. You got my back anytime, any day. Hold me down if you don't go my way. I wanna know. Like you said, <laughs> too many things. Um, I get to know about this few days, few days ago. You are with National Orientation Agency. Mm -hmm. I, I really quite don't know or quite understand what the organization is all about. Can you shed a little light about it? Our National Orientation Agency is an outfit. That was a, an agency that was brought up by the federal government. Okay, and the job is to orientate people. Okay. Mobilize them, spur them into action. That's value reorientation. Okay, and then we're there to be able to take back people's feelings, the effect of government policies on people. We have to take back the results back to the government. Okay. So the national orientation agency is there to get the people working, and we know we know the country where we are. <laughs> I don't you have a problem of funding, okay. basically. Okay. But uh, the staff you have at the agency, they're wonderful. Okay. There are people who are willing to sacrifice what they have to make sure. Okay. Like for me, I'm heading the Theatre for Development in the agency. Okay. It's, it's a drama beat arm of the government, of the agency, okay. that brings those policies life to people. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, we believe that with time. Get there. We'll get there. Okay. And I, I believe the government should actually like recognize and appreciate the agency. And if they do that, I believe we'll have a lot of change in the country. So let's go back to movies. Um, what movie would you say has been your standing point? You know, Ben, I, I wouldn't say any. Okay. In any job I do, I have an attachment See. to it. Oh, okay. uh, okay. so all of them have been, they've been wonderful. A movie, when I was starting, there was a movie I looked down on. I was like, I didn't see movie. I didn't want to do that job then. That was a non okay. I, I was shocked when that job came out, the response, what I got. So even when I did that, you go bully bully with Aki and Poko Okay. I was like, ah, I'm not shooting this. But, it taught me a lesson that no job is small, okay. no job is little. Okay. Believe you're putting your best, okay. and, and you'd be shocked because the reactions from your fans actually tell you how they value the job and how they value you. So no job, I, I hold all my jobs. Wow. So these issues is really, really very serious. It seems like some actors at a point they will be doing very well, very successful, but. Success is appears in the entertainment industry is very difficult to maintain. How is that? Uh, like I said, you know, down here, 
we have individuals sponsoring jobs and as an artist comes up he goes up the fee goes up i just think the individual that's sponsoring this keeping up with that becomes problems okay. now the artist has come up the artist has gotten contact and then the person that's sponsoring this job has a budget and we know what is happening right now the situation the economy yes. the economy is not helping anybody yeah. so when you invest such an amount and you don't get it back so what happens now is you see them coming to the bigger artist come show your face do little scenes who pay you this okay. that let's cutting it to yes. but we believe we're going to surpass that okay. it's not healthy okay. i won't tell you it's, it's not healthy okay okay we'll be taking a quick break again Welcome back. And are, you, are there any projects you are currently working on now? I mean, for somebody who has been following you, like I follow you on social media. Wow. Uh, I follow you on social media. I, I, I know I share away from social media. But... Uh, I know. So for some people who are not really, who don't really have the opportunity to follow you on, on social media, are there things you are working on now? What are your fans to be expecting at the moment? At the moment, we are actually I'm on a series, okay. on a TV series, and. Um, as soon as I drop that, next week I'm entering another job. The series will be something that will be continuous. It will run like for three months. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't drop a title. <laughs> those who have, uh, okay. now have, but they should expect some jobs. Not few jobs. They should expect many jobs. Many jobs are coming out here. Okay. Now, politically, <laughs> are you politically inclined? Well, I'll say I'm a, I'm a motivator. I love working with the youth. Okay. I love sparring people into action. Okay. For now, everything we do has a bit of politics in it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I wouldn't say I'm not. Okay. But for now, I'm still I'm just still there. Maybe with, with time, we'll shine out. But for now, I'm still acting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me.